after the calm storm of marriage. This time, uh, we were going to try something different. Uh, my wife and I are having a little spat, so to speak. And we want to just take this opportunity to kind of talk about what uh, is going on and see if we can come up with a solution and record it, see what happens. So we're trying something new. We're going to test it out and see what happens. Hopefully you guys can come, come uh, can uh, learn from it or something you can use. So see what, what, what is your, what is your, what is the issue that you want to start with today? Well, today, as I said, we both have gotten to a very in-depth conversation about our relationship and about um, some of the things that were going on in our own personal relationship. And I quite frankly feel comfortable with us talking to you about it because nobody is perfect. Everybody goes through relationship issues and um, being able to go through an honest conversation and then work out a resolution in the end is a really huge thing for me and for my husband as well. So we're just gonna sit here and we're going to continue our conversation and see if we can work out a resolution. And also feel free at the bottom to leave your comments. Um, and we'd like to hear what you like to, what you guys have to say about this situation and what you guys feel about it. And we're just gonna be honest and pour our, at our hearts, because we, you know, we're down to earth people, and um, yeah, it's gonna be real. So the situation we were talking about earlier was about um, we were talking about so many situations earlier. Which one do you want to discuss? Um, we can talk about pride. Pride will be a big one, um, because. Uh, that alludes to what you were talking about earlier is like the hierarchy in the family as far as like what's the what's the roles you got the you got the you know you got you know supposed to be you know God and then the oh, husband and yeah, wife yeah, 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 yeah. and then it's supposed okay. to be the children and the parents so anyway sorry about that that was just I guess that's kind of like a prelude to what's about to happen I just want to get my wife to yeah but we uh we uh we do a lot of talking anybody that knows me knows I'm a talker and Absolutely. My wife. Uh, I'm a behind I have, the scenes talker. I'm a I social no, talker, but I have no, uh, I have no filter, so it's, it's very difficult at times because people uh, they uh, misconstrue what I'm trying, what I'm really trying to say. So then I have to kind of like get my pride out the way, and then, you know she's very emotional. My wife is very emotional, very wonderful woman, and uh, pretty much uh, what happened was um, there was some. I guess some family issues. There's some family issues, and there was supposed to be a trip that was supposed to go on. Correct. And, and um, you know, I'm a very, you know, I, you know, I got a little pride in me. So, um, when we, uh, my, my my wife already on had her her female trip, you know, went to the went to a concert without me. I'm still waiting for my concert. That's but. You all of it, all, all of it, all of it, topic. all of it, come, all of this together. So this would be the second time that she needed to go somewhere uh, without me, and uh, she decided to uh, this time take about a week. Well, actually, it's supposed to be a week and two days. It's supposed to be a week and two days, and I was just like, "Hey, you know, you, know, you want to go go? Is that what you want to do?" Right. I, I did here. tell him. Leave me here then, by myself. Not even go eat. I'm just gonna starve myself. So anybody that knows me that saw me that week was just like, this man is crazy. Yes, I was. I did not like it. My wife was gone. I was upset. I was frustrated because she left me. That's how I felt. That's not necessarily what happened. But exactly. That's not exactly not what happened. <laughs> However, comma, that's how right. I felt. I was sick. Right. I was having a lot of medical issues going on. Right. And I had to face all those medical issues by myself. Um, I felt alone. And... Then um, I took out a lot of that on my my wife, and it took a lot of talking, took a lot of time. You got to have a lot of patience, and so that's what happened. But if you want to tell the story, your your end of it, then because mine just like very that short spot that was there. I can give you a whole rundown. Oh, go okay, right so rundown. long story. I'm gonna give you a rundown. But I'm not gonna go too much into details, but I'll give you a general idea of what was happening. So my mom needed my assistance with something, 
and it required me to go away from my home for seven days. Nine. Seven. I was gone for seven. She was Thank supposed you. to be gone for nine. I was gone for seven. Okay. So I was gone for seven days with my mom. I took my son with me because I know my husband goes to work and it would be uh, no one home to watch him. On top of that, uh, my mom was very um, eager to know that. Adamant. Her <laughs> okay. Adamant because she wanted her grandson to come too because she hadn't seen us a while since, you know, I've gotten married. I moved away from my mom from California to South Carolina. So she wanted to uh, see me, myself, and her grandson. Um, but long story short, so we go on this trip for seven days. Now, prior to the trip, I do let my husband know that, hey, my mom needs my assistance with this. She'd like me to go. In turn, my husband relays to me, well, you know what? I don't think it's a really a trip that you need to go on. He just personally felt like it's more so a trip of like us having fun and enjoying time, not really uh, being the emergency that was uh, portrayed, conveyed to Moi about the trip. Now, the reason for the trip was because we had a family member, I can't go too much into detail, that was- Family emergency. Family emergency, thank you. So, um, and my mom did my assistance with that. So I decided to accompany her uh, on the trip. Now, um, on the trip, I I noticed that some of what my husband said was correct as far as it being more so, uh, we were there for the family member in need. We did aid and assist that family member. But at the same time, it was more so of, you know, my mom spending time with me and my son because she hadn't see, seen us for a while. Um, so we, after the trip, we get back. Uh, my husband is, now prior to the trip, I had planned a surprise birthday party for my husband. Yes, yes. So I don't want to let's let's rewind a little bit. I surprise. I had planned a surprise birthday party for my She's husband. Aggressive. And uh, no, I'm back. <laughs> and um, the house was a little bit in disarray because of the party and everything that had went on and mm -hmm. things like that. So we were up late from the party. It was was it the next day or a, a, a day later? Oh no, it was definitely the next. The day. next day was the day I was supposed to be going to trip with my mom. Yeah. So I'm trying to organize, get things together, um, get my stuff, my son's stuff together to get out the house. And my husband noticed I was, you know, kind of in a frenzy, like trying to get things together. And his Russian. response, exactly, Russian. Yeah, frenzy, same thing. His response was. Don't worry about it. I got it. You you go ahead and, and take care of the trip with your mom, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And he says he's got it. I said, fine. Now, one thing I definitely wanted to ensure was because I am the uh, the main chef in the home. So I cook all the lunches, all the dinners. We don't really eat breakfast because he's at work or raised. Anyways, yeah. So long story short, I cook. I'm the cook. I, I cook all the meals. And um, so before I left, I didn't want to ensure that at least, although the house was still in a bit of disarray, that I was, I had still at least made an effort to make him lunch for the week, which I did. And I left a note on the computer that, hey, they love you. Here's lunch for the week. It's in the refrigerator. So, and I even told him, I believe I said it was on the left hand side as well. So, um, yeah, so do you have anything to say about that? Well, uh, I do have a lot to say about that. I'm sure you um, do. Yeah, uh, to be honest with you, I think this is really interesting. This is this is good therapy. I'm not necessarily saying everybody should put their business out there on social media. I know a lot of people do. But um, uh, to be honest with you, I did not get that. Uh, I didn't get that note to the day three or four. Not uh, that I didn't leave the note, but he I didn't, didn't get, see. I, I did not see that note to day three or four. Um, so I was pretty much... Uh, I was on strike. I was on hunger strike, so I decided I was not eating anything at all. My wife left me. So, I didn't find out to like day three. I was like, I was in there starving, and she got all this food in the refrigerator. So then I was like, hmm. Then I felt a little bit bad. But I did eat the food, which was delicious. <laughs> one, one of the dishes, so you, it went, it molded. No, all the, like, it. no, three of the dishes went mold. Yeah, three, the, uh, three out of the, uh, three out of the five dishes went molded. Yeah. Cause she has strawberries and stuff in it, you know. She does, you know. She just check, you know, check out her stuff. 
But um inspiration kitchen. Have to put yeah, that in there. Yeah, go ahead. Uh but um I checked it out and um, I found out at a later date and so um I ended up uh trying to take out certain stuff, moving stuff around and try to make a meal out of those. And for the most part, um I didn't I didn't even notice it until it was too late. Um So imagine him in the kitchen and you know how when you know how y'all get angry as hell, oh my wife is gone. I don't need her. I'm gonna cook my own food in the kitchen, trying to cook up his own food, and he got food in the refrigerator. But sometimes when you're upset, you don't see things. So the note was in a very visible place. It's not like I hit the note, but he didn't see the note because he was already upset that I was gone. You know, I was getting up, going to work, and I am I'm able to get dressed in the dark, which he does not pay attention to. The only reason why I turn the lights on is because she's there. Because of everything where it's supposed to be. I don't need the light because nothing's in the way. So therefore, I normally get dressed in the dark. I have all my stuff laid out before I go to work. I know exactly where everything's at. I take a shower, hop That's out, nice. and it's really nice. Like when you wake up in the morning and you take a shower, and then, you know the, you got the nice little ambiance of a, a uh, of a little candle or a small little light bulb. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. So it gets you, it gets gets you in the get you in the mood get you in the mood to get to work and just like you know what I'm ready for this day. And I but also he was pray. so frustrated. Of course, With all that ambiance going on. You I didn't get frustrated until I got to work. When I realized I was coming home to no wife, just an empty house. It made me think about, what's that man? Luther Vandross. Yeah. A house is not a house. <laughs> I, was, I was lonely. I was upset. A man that's married shouldn't feel like that. That's how I feel. And this is real because this is really how he, and I know a lot of men, no matter how hot, hard they try to, Hide the little face they put on. They like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But he's just being real, and so I, and I can understand that. And I respect that. I respect that she really felt that way. Now the issue when we had a conversation is because I think there was some miscommunication going on. Because like upstairs, we were talking. You know, his whole thing was, you know, the house was all a mess, and you know, nothing was put back where it needed to be. You can be gone for as long as you want to be gone, as long as you put the stuff back. Now that's what the message she was saying. That's what I heard. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, okay. So you're trying to say that I could be gone and it don't even matter that I'm gone just as long as the house is together. So you don't really need me here. I'm like, okay, so I can take a trip for like 30 days and you're good as long as the house is together. When right? It's like the overdo it. That's what the women no, do. Like, overdo. This is, this overdo is, this is the you know what I mean? of you know what communication. What I mean? No, I don't. Because yeah. I'm not about to sit here and read your mind. I'm not about to say here, pick up no context clues, context say what you clues, mean, and mean what you say. Better figure that. Puzzles. No. So, I mean, so that's how I took that. And, I, and then I got my, and I got my feelings. I was like. Ooh, deep in on. And I know, own. now, now mind you, do I know in my hearts of hearts that he didn't mean that? Yes. But did it still sting me? Yes. So, I decided to get in my feelings. A little petty time. I ain't gonna lie, I got petty. The she's, girl got petty. She's still in them. A little bit. I still really am. <laughs> <laughs> I still really am. But, long story short. Um, you keep saying that. It's not true. So we just both need to stop saying that. I don't it's know. not true. But it's not true. The long story short? Yeah, it's not true. Oh, it's short. Man, we could have made this like 10 hours, man. We should, hey, we've been talking about this for like at least six hours already. Like and we, right now, we already going to like 13.30 right now. So the whole point that I'm trying to make is that nobody's perfect. And communication is key. As long as you're willing to work it out. Do not let stuff linger. And to be honest with you, I feel like that is where we did stuff wrong. Because mm -hmm. from Jump Street, we have always, like, whenever we felt something, it was like, boom, hey, we got to listen to this in the bud right now. And, like, we, we did not do that. This is the first time that we allowed something to linger. And we typically, we don't do that. And I just want to apologize for my end that I should not let it linger. I should have just did what I was going to do at work, just hopped in that car and went out there and got you like I said I was going to do. And some people can attest to that because oh, I was at wow. work and I said well, it. Your wife and I was going to do it. And they was like, why are you going to get it? I said, because I'm hungry and I need a snack. And, but, but see, that's my thing. Like, don't just come get me because you're hungry and you need a snack. Get me because you miss me. Like, because you miss 
me. Like, I mean, that's, not that's what that's I can soft. do. That's sensitive. You can't say that to people. It yes, sounds, you can. It sounds, it sounds, it better. It sounds no. better if I say I need a snack versus, I really miss my wife. I really miss my wife. That's not right. That is right. That's not right. I was hungry too. It was kind of like both of them, but yeah, you know, okay, I just talked I about one both. half. I, just, exactly. I was going to just talk about one half with the fellas, and then I was going to talk about the intimate, sensitive half. No, because the fellas wife. need to hear that because the fellas really do be feeling that way. No, no they don't. And they, be, no, 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 fellas, I know. It'd be hard. You swear. Oh, please. That's yeah. a that's a facade. <laughs> that's a hugest facade. Can't yeah. blame people. Think I ain't no punk. Can't just roll up on me. What? But, what? But the thing that was more important for me because when I when I heard that, although I know that it was because I was gone, like, but when I heard that as a woman, I'm like, oh, so you want to play? So so now now that I'm thinking about it, now that we're talking, about it, I'm like, so in my mind, and maybe in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, so you want to play those type of games? Okay, so you don't even hear? Okay, so cool, I'm be gone. Like, I'm just be out. That's exactly how she she was acting too the whole day, just thinking, taking. Walks around the block. Yep. Doing all types of stuff. Getting them steps up. I was proud of that though. So I mean, like, but for women, like, we need to hear that it's not just what we do that's important. Like, just like a man, like when men do stuff, y'all don't want to just hear, oh, you know, thank you for paying the bill, thank you for doing. We want to hear, oh, you know, I appreciate you. Like, I appreciate you. not just what you can do, but you as a person. Like, nobody wants to be, oh, you just appreciate what I can do for you, but like, what about me as a person? Like, what about, that's just my, I mean, I could be, maybe I'm the only one who feels that way. You know, correct me, ladies, if I'm wrong, but I'm just saying, like, it's nice to hear yeah, that. And, and, and also to hear the truth. Like, the, the truth yeah. of the matter was, like, like you said, I miss my wife. She was gone. She was, she left me. You know, and, and should I have been a bigger person? Like, you know what? All right, babe. You know. No, we don't know. You can't say anything. I know. <laughs> I said I gotta say it. No, but I could have been like, you know what, babe? You know what, babe? You're right. You know, I I shouldn't have left you like that, babe. Or yeah, don't love me like you do. Home. Yeah, should be the old with daddy. Yeah. <laughs> See, now that would should have happened. And oh no! That, if you would have did all that, we could have. We could have been says. done with this conversation 18 hours ago, wow. and we could have been Gucci ready, but too much pride from you. No, but. I just want to. I just want to say, babe, that I love you. I love you too. And it wasn't just the food, babe. It was also because of you as a person. Because without you, I just don't feel complete. And I missed you. Aww. See, I can receive that though. Like lame. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, it's not lame. Yeah, who wants to hear all that mushy stuff? I like do. That? I like that stuff from time to time. You can't be strong man this is the doing thing, all like, that. This is like, I think when you get older, you'll understand the importance of sensitivity. Like, men are not, like, don't play into that whole men are supposed to be. I'm not saying I want my man to be feminine and flamboyant, feminine and flamboyant but I am saying a little sensitivity is nice. From time to time, yeah. you know. Everybody needs sensitive. Look at him. And mm -mm. I'm, I'm still, I'm still kind of, I'm still young. You know what I'm saying? And then that's I'm my get, point. I might get struck. I might get 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 some 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 get still up on me. Try to still up on me. Talking about that sensitive stuff. No, because like, you need to be at home. And then when you get out in the world, you don't obviously you don't show the same side to society that you show to your your wife. Well, that's true. Like, but as a man, you want your wife to see you as a strong man, think a warrior, and you can't be walking. I already see you some, as that. You can't be walking around and say, oh, "I miss my mind. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. No, I don't want to cook an omelet today." But I mean, but but the thing is that men, you still come off that way when you do the little petty stuff y'all do. Well, I had nobody to cook for me, and then I'm like, "Well, well," like it's still the same thing. No, it's not totally versus. Different. Versus being like, you know, babe, dang, I really missed you. You know, man, you can't nobody get down like you can in the kitchen. Like, okay, that's so manly without whining. Mm. Yeah, it still would have been acceptable. It depends on that. Um, it still would have been acceptable. But my thing is, either way you look at it, on both parts, we're all humans. Absolutely. And our emotions get involved. Yeah, I probably could have probably said it a better way that way. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, I, I really feel like it's the way... 
things are said. Now, I, I, like, I personally, I feel like you can say just about anything you want to say to a person, but it's how you say it. You, I, I personally feel like you can say, you can, you can get away, men and women can get away with saying just about anything. It's just how you go about saying it, like how you convey your message across, because if your message is not being received, then the person is going to be, uh, feel some type of way. They're going to either have their walls up, they're going to be guarded, they're going to be offended, they're going to be something, but it's just how the message comes across. Mm -hmm. And then I do also, so this kind of uh, segues into the whole thing about, you know, who comes first in yeah. the relationship. Yeah, and we can uh, that. Exactly. <laughs> So this is what we had talked about, you know, like who's first and like, like is, is it parents, is it children, is it each other, is it God? And according to the Bible, according to what we believe, you know, the husband and wife are supposed to come first. Correct. Right? Okay. So there are times uh, when, although the husband and wife are supposed to come first, um, that sometimes people the husband or the wife might put the children or their parents or somebody else above. But like for me, I feel like that was more of um, like a wake up call because I didn't really, I didn't have a conversation to be honest. And I apologize to you for that. Like I didn't have a conversation with my husband about going. I just told him I'm going. Like I was like, oh, I'm going with my mom. We're going to be gone for this long and da, 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 da. But I didn't say, oh, babe, what do you think? you know, do you, about me and my mom doing this thing together? Because a hundred percent that I need to be there. No, not really, to be honest. But was it nice? That was it just like an icing on the cake that I was there? Absolutely. It was, you know, absolutely. And, um, so I can understand him feeling like, oh, he wasn't put first because I didn't, again, we didn't have that conversation. I just told you what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. So I can, I mean, if it was, if it was reverse, like if it, obviously if it was reverse, I would feel some type of way too, just to be real. I would, um, yeah. So, but we, we decided that in our relationship that we're always going to put each other first and be honest. Like if something like this happens again, we're going to be like, we're going to be honest, you know, babe, but he said a good point too. He said, what did you say? He said, if it was you, you would take me with you. Correct. And he was going through work. So it's not like, and it's not even like I had planned to like say, hey, baby, you know, we're going to go help my mom do this. It was like, I'm going with my mom and Ray, Ray, and our son to go do this. And this is when we're going to be back and you deal with that. So, now that I'm talking about it, I can see, I can, I feel like I have, I'm understanding your frustration more. Just to be real, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I think that that's something that I need to watch. Um, because as much as we love our parents and as much as we love our children and everybody, we have to understand that in a relationship, you know, this is, our relationship so we have to make sure that we are communicating with each other and not and involving each other in each other's lives right yes definitely you you've been quiet over there say something i think i'm doing all the talking no I, you did a great job i think that was awesome i think you pretty much hit the head on the head on the nail nail on the donkey so nail then, on the donkey. do you accept my apology yes i do i definitely accept your apology i accept yours too see Problem solved. Now I still feel One a certain type of way <laughs> because I I just do. I still feel like you know I think I'm battling within myself. Maybe I don't know. But I still feel a certain type of way. I feel like it's good. But by, by the time we go to bed, I'm gonna be back to me because I already feel like now that we're talking about it, stop doing that thing. <laughs> See, you're getting on my nerves again. Don't do that. It's not funny. <sighs> so I feel like. Before bedtime, we should be good to go. I'm good now. I'm Gucci. Of course. About to go get me some chips. Oh, and some pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we had a wonderful time. Thank you. Welcome to our family. And uh, enjoy. Bye. <laughs>